Kevin, I am living for God. And why do I have problems? Why do I have to be sad and crying and depressed? Like, why can't everything be perfect while I live on this earth? Okay. I believe what you are describing or maybe you have this world confused with heaven. As far as I know, earth is not heaven, right? In heaven, there is perfection. In heaven, I assume everyone will be happy. In heaven, I would assume again, we aren't going to have any more problems or whatever else like that. So how earth is now, I don't think heaven is like that. Okay, you may say I am wrong, but I believe on this earth, we are to be tested. So I would say as well, and you may say I am wrong. I believe on this earth, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so I believe we are to be tested. Yes, okay. And I would say as well, and you may say I am wrong. I believe this earth to be our proving grounds to where we prove ourselves to God. God, I am going through this stuff here, but I am still willing to live for you. I am still willing to go by your rules and stuff like that. So I believe this life is proving grounds for us to prove ourselves to God that we are going to do his will or at least try to do his will while we are living on this earth and stuff of that manner. Okay. So if that is true, if this is our proving grounds, how can you expect to not have any problems? If this is our proving grounds, if I am saying that correctly, how can you expect to be happy every day, all day? Come on now. If I know I am to be tested, how can I look for 100% comfort? Think about that. Also, where in the Bible, please show me, where in the Bible does it say when you become a Christian, you will not have any more problems? Where in the Bible does it say that at? It doesn't. I believe in the Bible, it says that, I may not say this correctly, <laughs> but those who live godly shall suffer persecution or something like that. So if, okay, you are living for God, you are doing what is right, so, but the Bible still say what? you will suffer persecution. Okay. Wait until you get to heaven to have that perfect life. Yes, when you live for Jesus Christ, yes, I believe there will be, you know, peace and happiness and stuff like that. 
but every day may not be that way. So stop thinking that you shouldn't go through any problems. I don't like problems. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. But while I am on this earth, I know I have to go through problems. So why would I turn my back against God because I am going through something that should be expected, as in having problems? Don't ever turn your back. Listen now. I think there are some people out there that may go through a problem. Then after that, after that problem ends, shortly after perhaps, there is another problem, then another problem, then another problem. So I think some people go through constant problems. Okay. Look now, we may go through problems, I guess, because perhaps we are reaping what we have sown. Probably we have done really bad things in the past and we may still be going through bad things now because of how we were back in the past. Maybe bad things are happening to us because we are being tested. Maybe bad things are happening to us. Perhaps we are under demonic attack. So I think there is more than one reason why bad things may be happening to us, even though, even though, never turn your back against God, even though you may go through constant problems. Because what sense is there to turn your back on someone where there is salvation in him? Like if, if Jesus is our salvation, why would you turn your back against him because you are going through problems? Stop. Let me stop here. God bless you.